discussed it a little earlier, that LeBron's having arguably his most impressive yeah. offensive season. So what is it? What has stood out? Well, there's a couple things. One, I mean, I feel like in his 15th season already, he's developed a go-to move, a go-to shot, something that MJ did later in his career, something that Kobe as well did later in his career. We're going to go to the tape here, and I'm going to show you a couple of the things. that It's easier for him to score now. He's using his frame. He's using his body. And he's going over his right shoulder sometimes, left shoulder. We look at this play right here. He's a lot more patient. He gets the mismatch with James Harden, a little switch action. You always have to be careful of him and be aware because he's a great passer. Always going to survey the floor, see who's cutting, see who's helping. Kevin Love is going to stretch it out. He stays in there, repost. Kevin does a great job of cutting out Nene, who was the double man. And now you got LeBron James here. He can get to whatever he has, whatever he wants. He's doing a good job with that turnaround over the left shoulder. Now he's going to turn around over the right shoulder. But you look at him here. This is Greek Freak. Has all the length in the world. Can make a play on, on LeBron James. What does he do? He looks at the floor. He assesses the situation. Who's cutting? Who's going to help me? Good hands right here by Greek Freak. But guess what? This is a real Olajuwon, Kevin Garnett, turn around, throws him right there. And then he's crafty on the block as well. Here it, here it is again, Greek Freak. Now he's going to do something here. One, he's going to get, he's looking at everybody. He's going to get two feet in the paint, which if nobody's coming by now with two feet in the paint, you know this guy's going to score. But against that length, he's going to pump fake. Paul, you know this very well. I've seen you do it to me too many times. <laughs> get, that, get that shoulder into his body to eliminate some of that length. And we always know he can do this. He's doing this a lot more often. Now, I call it bully ball. Something I like to do. You get a smaller guy, back him down, get two feet in the paint, and it's your world. You can get whatever you want. You got Bradley Bill here. They got a switch. What is LeBron going to do? Keep going until they stop you. Step through right here. This guy's at the charge circle. Is somebody going to help him? Two or three I mean, people, that's please. LeBron James, right? Now, so you talk about him being efficient now. now. He's just scoring a lot easier now. He got, he got the back to the basket. He got the bully game right there. And he's going off of, on both shoulders. Some people can only turn left shoulder or right shoulder. He's doing both, and he's doing it very efficient and easy. You know, all, to all the young players who play the post, this is this was a great tape to watch because the one thing I noticed is how patient he was. He is such a threat to pass the ball. We all know that LeBron James is a great passer out of the post. That's why you don't see the double teams. I mean, right. this is LeBron James. Shouldn't he be doubled in the post? But since he's such a great passer and finding guys all over the court, he's often caught in one-on-one -on -one situations in the, port, in the post. This is one thing that I feared when I played against him is if he posted up all game, there's almost nothing you can do. And to your point about them not doubling, it's because we hadn't seen LeBron James perform like that in the post. That's right. That's right. Normally he always played facing the basket more like a power guard to handle the ball. Now he has that post game. It's because he can shoot better from three. It's because he's confident getting to the free throw line. A lot of times he didn't want to get that contact because he didn't want to go to the line. Now it unlocks his entire game. Now he's, he ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> ain't worried about nothing. <laughs> ain't worried about nothing. Back in October, the Alpha, Draymond Green, said the Warriors should have swept the Cavs in the finals last summer, and they, quote, didn't stand a chance against his team. His fellow Warriors are excited to see the Cavs again today on Christmas. Let's call him D-Nice. <laughs>